I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru, which is not a usual for me. Hi, can I please get a grande iced matcha green tea latte with coconut milk? But can I get two pumps of chai in it? Thank you. Ah! Hey, Hello. It how are you? And I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. So is this good? I don't know. Like, I just, everybody's this is getting my, it because of TikTok, right? This and is my first time trying okay, well, it. You'll have to let me know because it sounds disgusting. Okay. <laughs> Like, you know, TikTok drinks are super weird. This one, I wasn't sure, especially because they called it, what, the moon drink? Yes! And they were like, it tastes like the moon. I'm like, how the hell? Is it right. like a rock? Exactly. It's like a space rock? Thank you. Hopefully it's good. It. Thank I, you. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, it. Have, have a good day. Life. What a kind man. He made me feel safe. If you are ever wondering what snow looks like in Pennsylvania, especially right now, like that, it looks like that. That's not a mountain, that's just a boulder and a parking lot. I never go to Starbies, but I felt like for this little girly talk, I felt like I could try the little moon drink. Aw, it does taste like the moon. And this is coming from someone who really likes matcha. Wait, it tastes very like homey and comforting and I really like that. I didn't think I was going to because I'm like a little matcha snob, but let's drive home because I don't want to film this video in this parking lot. I want to film it in my driveway, of course. Let you go. I have to ask my mom if she can drop my lip balm from the deck. There's only one. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, oh. This guy is white, purple, and green. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. I'm so talented. Hi, guys. I want to film a fun little car sit down video where we do a little girl talk. I do every single little, like, girl talk advice video or practically any video from my bedroom. And that's because I don't go anywhere. I feel like I need to have my drink here so that everyone can see it. So the colors are good pretty on camera. I wanted a change of scenery though, because at least me and my friends, when we have our little girl talks, it's not usually in our bedrooms to be honest, it's usually in the car. I'm in a very good mood this morning. I just got Botox. <laughs> Recently in a video, I got Botox and it's because of my migraines. I get them injected into like my TMJ master muscle area. Just a small update for anybody who does care. Um, I got Botox three weeks ago and I've only had one migraine since and that was last week. It's been such a massive improvement because I used to get them like two, three, four times a week. It was really, really intense. But I knew that it wasn't migraine because it was starting off here and I get phantom smells. So I constantly smell like something is burning and like chemicals. It's a really, really bad smell. So that's how I knew that I was getting migraines again and I just wanted to nip it in the bud. I talked to my doctor about it and we're like, let's just up your dose and then like, let's just not see each other for a few months. Kind of like a breakup between me and my doctor. It was expected. We just wanted to start off with a really small dose to see if it would even work for me. Update, it really did work for me, but I just need a little bit more so to prevent future migraines. I also got all of the numbing cream in my hair. Ew. It does taste like the moon. It also tastes like fall. It also tastes like Joanne Fabrics in the fall. We all know how I feel about that. I asked you guys on Instagram, so make sure that you follow me on there so you know every single time that I'm doing something like this. Also make sure that you subscribe if you wanna be nasty. If not, you're disgusting. Also make sure every bell notification's on so you know every single time I post or else you're gross. Girl talks are also not exclusive to just the girlies. They're exclusive to everyone. But I like the saying girl talk a whole lot better than man talk because man talk is just um, degrading and putting down women and so I don't really like the term man talk. So we're gonna use girl talk. Okay, let's start off with the questions. I'm holding you guys for too long. How do I unlearn basing your self-worth on your relationship status or how men see us? Although I'm in a relationship now, I don't feel better of a person than I am in a relationship. I am just kind of like, this is a cool person who I want in my life rather than someone that I need in my life. I've also been learning more about the male gaze. I realized that a lot of things that I do in my day-to-day -day life was kind of feeling like I was always watched. Like I asked my guy friends, I was like, you feel like you're being watched or like you're performing for someone else at all times, like even when you're alone and they're like, no. But and I realized that I do all the time, like the way that I act, even when I'm just like doing normal things, like driving in the car, I'm like, I have to look pretty while I'm driving the car in case a man sees me. And that's weird. I've been slowly unlearning doing that. And I think one of the things that has helped tremendously is cutting out men in my life who I don't like. <laughs> Meaning that I have given such little attention to men who I feel like disrespect me or are not kind to me or quite frankly are not the most utmost respectful and kind of people. I think when we allow other men to disrespect us, even if it's the way that they talk to us or their tone, I think it allows room for us to disrespect ourselves because we're allowing it from someone else. So I think the, the less attention I give to men, 
the better the more I like myself the more worth I feel like I have for myself birth control question mark okay I've been on birth control since I think I was like 13 because I had ovarian cysts from a very very young age I thought I was having an appendicitis and then I went to the emergency room and I had ovarian cysts. Because of the birth control, I have not had them since. And for me, I think that the pill is working great in my opinion. I know some people have different reactions and everything. And of course there's many different types of pills. There was another pill that made me cry all the time. Like I was extremely emotional. Uh, I think it might be the one that I'm on now too. But personally <laughs> for me, at least the one that I'm on currently, I haven't had bad, any bad reactions. <laughs> Sometimes I do think about that. like. I have been on the pill for almost 10 years and I don't know who I am without it. Like, what are my hormones like? Who am I as a person without the pill? Um, but I don't really care to find out right now. I don't really want ovarian cysts. I'm just not interested. Any tips about being confident about posting pictures of yourself? Yes, stop thinking about it too much. Before I used to take so many photos of myself and then I would select which one I liked the most and then I would send them to my friends and then I would edit it. And now it's just like, mm -mm, mm -mm. like I don't even force myself to take pictures. If I don't want to, then I don't want to. But if I'm feeling cute, and I want to take a picture of myself snap a few edit the colors really quickly if you want to I personally don't edit my face or anything like that and then I just post that shit I just don't care anymore I don't care too much about like analyzing it and inspecting it and everything because chances are no one else's and I just it doesn't matter like I remember there was like a thing on TikTok for a while where people were like it's so embarrassing to like post about yourself like that's so embarrassing no it's not no it's not like how you look fucking own it I like how I look and so I put my face on the internet twice a week I clearly like how I look a at least a little bit <laughs> how to deal with insecurity about small chest volume I love how this question was worded I, I literally didn't think about this until recently but I used to be so very insecure about my chest size I don't really have a lot to work with I wore push-up bras all the time that shit was not comfortable I was obsessed with having cleavage because everyone like all my friends did and I did not I don't know exactly how I have gone to this point but I've just learned to not care whatsoever I also realized that comfort over anything to be honest and so I really got obsessed with the thought of not wearing bras I literally donated all of my like actual real bras I own one and I strictly only wear sports bras bralettes like cute like little ones like that and now I appreciate them a lot more because I'm like you're very comfortable to me also you can get jewelry to spice them up and appreciate them a little bit more just an option Skincare secrets. Oh my god. Uh, I'm so happy that you asked. It's almost as if I have it in this bag and it's almost as if this video was sponsored by Curology. You guys know I love Curology. It's not a secret. I've been very open about how I've been loving Curology for the last year now. I think my one year anniversary with Curology actually came up. So kisses to me and Curology. Sorry Curology that I didn't get you a gift, but um, thank you Curology for giving me the gift of having nice clear skin. If you didn't know, Curology is skincare that is made for your skin with your skincare needs in mind. It was so easy because all I had to do was take an online skin quiz on Curology's website and then I got matched with a dermatology provider. Shout out to you, Adele. Oh my God, does that mean that it's like Adele and I's anniversary? Cause we've been working together for a while. Adele, I don't know what you look like, but happy anniversary. But Adele knows what I look like because all I had to do was send her photos of my skin, talk about some of my skincare issues, also some things that I wanted to improve with my skin. Then my dermatology provider just matched me with a formula that would work best for my skin. We actually just changed my formula a little bit from the last year to target some of my new goals that I have with my skin because I'm so happy where I am currently. From before, like my skincare goals were just to actually like clear up my skin. I had fungal acne, I had active breakouts, I had a lot of red spots. And I'm excited for the future when I can start incorporating some ingredients ingredients that are going to help me with, you know, preventative things, you know, like preventing wrinkles. I'm 21, I'm getting old. And of course, you guys know I don't like leaving my house, so I really appreciate that Curology comes right to my door every single month. I don't even have to do anything because it just comes to me. If you guys are interested in trying Curology, you can click the link in my description and you can get your first month for free. All you have to do is pay for shipping and handling. It's been warming my heart that a lot of you have been saying that you've been trying Curology because of me and that you've been loving it, so I'm very happy that it's working for you, so yay. Thank you, Curology, for sponsoring today's video. Oh, I love this question. How to be more comfortable around boys after not having a positive male figure in your life god that's like something so difficult for me growing up i had a lot of guy friends i almost said boyfriends so many boyfriends there's like nothing in my cup left and i'm like at some point 
that just kind of stopped uh, I think it kind of was like high school when I stopped having guy friends and then I started having really bad experiences with guys and then I was like Ugh. I don't have very many straight guy friends in my life because quite frankly I'm afraid of a lot of straight men the few straight men that are in my life are amazing people in general and have never hurt me or done me wrong there's been instances where I've tried to make friends with some straight guys and then it's always turned into something creepy. They either start flirting with me or they get harassy or they become assholes to other women and I don't like that. But I think becoming friends with guys who you have mutual friends with, if that makes sense. I know I'm gonna get comments on this video from angry men and being like, stop generalizing us. Well, then stop acting like that. Once the majority of women stop having bad experiences with men, then we'll stop generalizing you, you know? No, but I'm gonna be honest with you. It's something that I still struggle with to this day and it's actually like a topic of conversation that I have a lot. Someone said, I think no one talks about discharge. Let that shit flow, baby. <laughs> no, I got a lot of questions about people being like, I'm very insecure about discharge, for example, or what do you do? I think the older you get, you just stop caring as much. You can wear panty liners if you want. I think there's some discourse about it not being very healthy for you to constantly be wearing panty liners. Let that shit flow, baby, okay? How often do you shave your armpits if you don't go out? I have armpit issues. I was a freshman in college and I started to get extremely bad rashes under my arms. It was extremely bad. I was getting like chemical burns practically, um, but it was like from my own sweat and or deodorant and it was terrible. I ended up going to the dermatologist. They told me that it's just basically like Every single time I shave, I am just like cutting open this area and it's putting bacteria in there. It's causing me to be really irritated. So she told me, wax, don't shave. And then I waxed for a while. I taught myself how to wax. And then I went back to shaving and the problem is starting again. So I think people who rock armpit hair are very cool. The only reason that I feel like I cannot do it is because it hurts. It like physically hurts me. I have very coarse and thick hair. And it's just very uncomfortable for me. I'd like to learn how to sugar wax, to be honest. Maybe that's something I'll do in this channel. Maybe I'll wax myself. I think a lot of people are worried about how often other people shave to feel like if they're normal or not. My best answer is, is like as often as you feel like it, if you don't feel like it, then don't do it. If you want to, then do it. Would you try a menstrual cup? Bitch, I use a menstrual cup and I have been for like the last four years, three, four years now. Highly recommend menstrual cups. I don't remember the last time that I've used a tampon. I love menstrual cups because they are so easy to use. I know it seems like they're, they might be very difficult to use. I love the fact that I'm able to just like run around and do my little tasks all day and not have to worry. It takes a little bit of time to get used to so that you're not like, leaking or you know it's uncomfortable for you i remember i went to poland and i forgot to bring my menstrual cup along with me and i was like i forgot i can have my period in europe and i actually just went to the pharmacy and they had them and for so much cheaper as well than in the u.s and i will never go back how often do you wash your hair well <laughs> when i was blonde i would wash my hair once a week i'm not joking like every six days about yeah just because it was so bleached and it was dry and i just needed to maintain its you know moisture and i didn't want my hair to break off and everything now that it's back to my natural color and it is much shorter i find myself washing it a lot more because i'm just like i can ew like see i feel so disgusting because there's numbing cream in my hair so i just washed it two days ago i will wash my hair twice a week now use a good old little dry shampoo try not to touch my scalp as much i also oil my hair now and i oil my scalp so i find that my hair gets less greasy now i'm a big advocate for not washing your hair. Middle Eastern jeans, do you shave your face too or is it just me? I do shave my face, I shave my whole face. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, I'm half Middle Eastern. So I do have thicker, darker body hair, whatever, who cares? Yes, I have special little eyebrow face razors and I will shave my whole entire face. Like I will wash my face and then I will either use an oil or a cream and I will just shave that whole thing once every couple weeks or whenever I feel like it. I do this because I have seen uh, skincare benefits, like just making your face look more dewier and fresher just because you are essentially like exfoliating your face in a sense. And also my makeup goes on smoother. So that's why I personally like to do it. No one has to do it. I just personally like it because my face feels very soft. I hated it before, but that's because I broke out completely when I used to do it because I was just being too rough with it. I was doing it too often. I wouldn't cleanse my face properly before and after and I would put on like a shitload of products right after I was done doing it First period story. I got it on Halloween I think I was in like the seventh grade or something and I didn't realize that it was my period I literally thought I shit myself. I was like, how did I fucking shit myself? I'm like 
13 years old. Talk about your boyfriend having girlfriends. My boyfriend now has many girlfriends and I don't feel insecure about it because I trust him and also his friends are fucking cool and I'm friends with them as well. Literally last year, right before the pandemic, I lived with my boyfriend's high school friend in her apartment because we just got along great and she's a very good friend of mine now and there's nothing to feel like insecure about. And another thing to realize is that a lot of the girls who grew up with your boyfriend like throughout their life, like for example, my boyfriend went to high school with a large set of girls that he is now still friends with. Um, they don't view your boyfriend the way that you view your boyfriend. Like you may love your boyfriend, you may think that he's really cute and attractive and his girlfriends are probably still thinking of him as like little scrawny kid from like elementary school. Awkward and like not attractive. You know what I mean? Because I think now that a lot of like the guy friends that I have had since like elementary school, middle school or whatever, I don't view them that way. I view them as like a brother. I grew up with them. I saw their voice cracking. They smelled back then. I, I still remember. Your experience with gynecologists. I've had a great experience with my gynecologist. They have been very, very caring. I've had two so far. The first one was very quiet and she always talked like this when she was talking to me. And now my current gynecologist, I love her so much she has sat down with me and several times has like asked me what I eat in a day from morning to night and has like written it all down just to see that I'm getting enough calcium in my diet which I thought was very caring <laughs> I don't know I just really appreciated that that someone cared enough and was like yep that's good like you're doing great I've never felt uncomfortable literally at like my first time getting like a physical examination inside of me she talked about iced coffee with me and like what kind of flavors I like I didn't even really like coffee but I enjoy talking to her about something other than you know, my legs literally being in the air and her being in there. Also, please go to the gynecologist. If you have a vagina, please go. I say this because a lot of people do not go. I have so many friends who are now above the age of 18 um, or have had sex and, and they don't go. Your health is so important. I know that it may seem like it will be so uncomfortable, but your doctor has seen so many vaginas and so many boobies and everything else that they just don't care. I promise you. Okay guys, it's starting to snow and I'm sweating, which is a very weird combination, but I'm gonna go inside now. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun doing a little girl talk video. If you guys enjoy these kind of videos, please let me know because I would love to do them more often. I also love an excuse to sit in my car. I'm gonna drink that tastes like the moon. If you guys like this video, make sure that you leave it a like because it helps me out so much. Also leave a comment um, of any other girl talk questions that you may have. Maybe I'll be answering some in the comments. You guys are the most supportive people that I've ever seen in a comment section before. And I appreciate all of you. And I do recognize you guys' profile pictures. Don't think that I don't. Make sure that you subscribe if you wanna be nasty. If not, you're disgusting. Also make sure you have your bell notifications on so you know every single time I post or else you are gross. If you wanna follow me on my other social media like Instagram, Twitter, Depop, Spotify, it's just at Nicole Raffi. And if you wanna follow me on my TikTok, it's at Nikki Nasty. I'm gonna go enjoy the Botox in my face, you know? I'm not in pain, thank God. Okay, goodbye.